What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, John from the Game Video, who are welcoming you back to another episode of Danganronpa V3! Killing Harmony. In the last episode, we finished up Trial 4. I almost said Trial 5. But that's because we're getting into Chapter 5. Um, Kaido really needs to say what's going on. Like, really badly. Because it's actually getting on my nerve that he's not talking about anything. So, let's get the show on the road. Get the show started. And load the save point. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna get hit with something. I'm gonna hit something, get, get hit with something real quick. As this is gonna be story stuff. God. Uh oh. <laughs> My adorable mono cubs. What? Little monotaro. Little mono funny. Little mono dumb. And the rest. And the rest. Oh, why did you have to die? Your lives were irreplaceable. <laughs> My grief is piling up like freshly fallen snow. I told them, make the most of your life, because you only get one shot at it. And once it's over, nothing can replace it. Oh, why did they take their lives for granted? If only they cared about their lives, they would have worked harder to earn my love. It's all their fault. Bad stuff always happens to kids whose parents don't love them. Excuse me. I was going to say, Monokuma and existential crises don't usually happen. Why did those kids even exist? Exactly. Why? Why, Monokuma? You don't have a girlfriend. What's an irreplaceable life anyway? Yeah, I was going to say, existential crisis and Monokuma, no. Voyage um, without... Ah, damn. I literally failed it. Thinking. Um, oh, the morning after Gonto was declared the blackened, we gathered in the dining hall as always. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, we just get straight to the dining hall. Okay. This t they, we're going to have so little people. Ah, 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 that's so, like, it's jarring to see this little people. There is, there's not, there's more though. There's Kokichi. Is that it? Six plus my, myself. Is that th that feels weird? Cause we're yeah we're at seven. Crazy. Crazy how far we've come. As always. No, how could that be with everything that happened yesterday? Mew. Gonta. Yeah, everything. Even in such a dark time, one of us was still bright, trying to cheer us all up. Uh, Kaido, probably? Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, Kaido, putting on the, like, optimistic facade. Don't, un I understand where that's from, but it's fine. Um, jeez, don't be stupid, guys. There's no way I'd die, you know. Because, yeah. Luminary of the stars. There is a way you would die, you know, being poisoned and literally dying on the inside. But, you know, you're going to, you know, make me emotionally die on the inside. It's okay. Hey, are you really okay? Got it. I'm telling you, I'm just fine. I wasn't feeling great yesterday, but after a good night's sleep, I'm all better. That's not how it works, Kaido. Huh. I'm 100% better now. But... But there's no way you'd get better quickly after coughing up that much blah. Ah. I told you, didn't I? I just coughed too much and cut my throat a little. That's all. Um. <clears throat> Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard or suffering from a chronic illness? Idiot. <clears throat> Don't be stupid. If I had a chronic illness, I wouldn't stand a chance in an astronaut training. Seriously, you guys are worrying too much just because you all love me and I can't help you or, or you can't help yourself. Of course we're worried. My bad. But I'm serious. You don't need to worry about me anymore. 
I should have told you guys I wasn't feeling well. I made you worry for nothing. Maki! Can we, like, simultaneously smack some sense into him? Please? Like, Kokichi should have been the one to do it. I mean, did you see the fact that he got punched on the ground that hard? Like, he needs to understand. This is a serious issue. Come on, man. Okay, uh, don't glare at me like that. <laughs> if I do start to feel bad again, I'll have you guys help me, okay? <laughs> now that that's out of the way, let's eat. Yeah, come on, guys. Let's all eat. <clears throat> Kaido spoke cheerily, then left to get his meal. Is there really nothing wrong? With what I saw yesterday, how can I act like nothing's wrong? Exactly! Hmm. Despite Kaido's remarks, he probably she should probably receive med medical attention just in case. But now we've got another reason why we need to get out of here. Okay. On top of that, we need to do it fast. But... Uh, escaping is well and good, but what does the outside look like? We still don't know the secret of the outside world. Gonzo wouldn't tell us what it was because it would give us so much despair that we'd want to die. What was that? If that's true, then what could possibly be happening outside the academy? Kaido returned to the table, his hands full of food. I mean... We can't figure that out just by thinking about it. There's no point in wasting your brain power. But, but we cannot sip... Or we can't not think about it. You know... Sure, there's a chance the outside world is messed up because of Monokuma. But making us worry about it is what Monokuma wants. He is using it to pressure us. Kokichi and Gata just snapped under their pressure. The outside world is probably fine. You. You're such an op the optometr or uh, optometrist. Can you prescribe some rose-colored glasses for me too? <laughs> Damn! Here we go. <laughs> You're. Claps for Himiko. Yeah, honestly, claps for Himiko. Frickin' that's a that that that's a frickin' joke and a half. Good job. Uh, I think you mean optimist. No, she means she she means optometrist. But you know, she he is an optimist, but she means optometrist for this. That was a good joke, Himiko. I got you. Either way, there's something to think about. Once we get outside, so focus on that now. Shuichi. As a detective, what is your thoughts on this, Suichi? Uh, okay. I've considered a few theories, but I can't say for sure. You're right. Well, that's understandable. There are barely any clues. Since the incident yesterday, Kaido won't look me in the eyes. He must still be angry. But I had no choice. I, I had no other option. My deduction wasn't wrong. And if I hadn't identified Gonta as the culprit, we all would be dead. For the rest of us to survive, Gonta had to be sacrificed. There was nothing I could do. Hey, so. I'm glad we're talking about how to escape, but where'd he go? Kokichi. Huh? Uh, yeah, I, I pulled that out immediately. The instant Kaido spoke his name, a nervous energy shot through us. I, I haven't seen him. Even if I did, I'd be the one running away. Hmm. I haven't seen him much either. It's like he just completely vanished. Hmm. He apparently is really good at hide and seek, so he's probably just hiding somewhere. Um, we can't just let that person be. He's a little too dangerous. Not just a little, because he... He enjoys watching us suffer. His face just screams that he's having fun whenever he sees us suffering. And that's not normal. There is obviously something wrong with him. How annoying. If we weren't in this killing game, I would have assassinated him already. <sighs> Ironic. The rules of the game actually make it harder to kill. Hey! Maki roll, that's not good. Playing this killing game is what Monokuma wants us to do. <sighs> I know. Yeah. Is Maki Roll your nickname for Maki? Because that's like such a good nickname. It makes me want to take a bite out of her with a soy sauce and a spicy mustard. Right, Maki Roll? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I, I guess I don't know how close we are just yet. Uh, <laughs> if uh, we don't do anything, we'll be killed by Kokichi next, right? 
I bet even now he's hiding somewhere and plotting against us. No. Uh, no. Actually, we're safe right now. Kokichi told us that his objective was to win the killing game. He wouldn't risk a murder that would obviously implicate him. But... But he might be planning to make us suffer in some other way. Like how he used Kanta. Anyway, we need to find him as soon as... Add Kokichi. No, Monokuma. Here I am! Yeah. Yeah, Monokuma! Why? What are you doing here? <laughs> I got some business with you guys, of course! Of course, of course! It's our prize, right? Ugh, hurry up and give it to us. Okay. Can do! Hmm. You're being awfully compliant. Oh, yeah. Of course, I can't refuse you all. Not when I'm all alone and outnumbered. Oh. Outnumbered? But I'm used to being alone. Back in the day, I was alone from start to finish. Anyways, here's your prize this time. Oh. You get two keys. This one is the last real key, and this one is the real last key. Well, what's the difference? Now then. Go find the areas and that these keys will unlock. Bye -bye. See you later. Ah, uh, no. You don't get the line today. I'm not saying that. We don't need an Angie callback. We don't need an Angie callback. Angie's dead and is I'm totally fine with it. So, what are we going to do in this new area? I I think we should prioritize searching for the new area over searching for Kokichi. It likely contains a flashback light, and we may discover some new facts. Why you? So you're saying humans are low priority? Typical for a bloodless, tearless machine man. Um, I am not sure we're close enough for you to be making jokes like that. Hey. What do you want to do, Kaido? Yeah. I'm worried about Kokichi, but there's no point in worrying about him all the time. All right. All right our first priority is to solve the mystery of the Academy, so let's investigate. Yeah. Uh, I'll hold you to that. Oh, that's right. Without meeting my eyes, Kaido placed the key in my palm. Mm -hmm. Kaido, Shuichi, what's the matter? You both seem different today. Well... Read the mood, Kibo. It's fine. Let's go already. <laughs> oh, boy. We split up and began our search. Poor Kibo, but, like, it's okay, Kibo. It's okay, Kibo. You'll, you'll get there one day, buddy. Unfortunately, I won't get there one day. So you're a step ahead of me. It's it's fine. I Kaido's just upset that we did our job. Because I under, I feel like that happens way too often, though. Like, I feel like people get way more upset because you did your job than people are supposed to get. It's like, oh, oh my god, hi. Wow, that, that, that happened way too quickly. I don't trust this. Uh, can we, like... Hidden Monokuma! Wait, did I go the right... It was supposed to be next to the magnifying glass. This door, yeah, yeah, yeah. The engraved door. Click, click, click. Hmm. Huh. The key works, but it won't turn. Tick, tick, tick. Uh-oh. Be... Ticking. Sensing danger, I hurried back away from the door. And then... Oh, God. It exploded. A trap? That was dangerous. Why do I feel like this is Kokichi's lap? Hmm. I could have really been hurt. The key is still here. Can it be used for something else? This looks like Kokichi's lab, and I don't like it. From the lock of, or from the look of the door, it must be an ultimate lab. Whose lab is this? Uh, there are only a few of us left, so who don't know who their lab All is? Right. I should check on the inside. When I turn the knob, click, click. Hmm. Huh? It won't open. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, that research lab is closed because the owner is dead. Hmm. The owner is dead. Hey, 
per the rules, if a student dies before their ultimate research lab is opened, then the lab will remain closed. That's, that's the first I'm hearing of this. Yeah. That's because it's the first time I've ever mentioned it. Uh, there's no point in complaining to Monokuma. This is his academy after all. Anyway, if this lab, lab belongs to somebody who died, Rantaro? Then... Is this Rantaro's lab? Aww. How disappointing. Uh, you would know what his talent was if you went into his lab. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be quite the development if you learned his talent right now. Huh? What does that mean? Hmm? Yeah, what does it mean? That sort of unexpected development can only happen in a real killing game like this one. Oh, no. oh well. What a waste. I can't believe that idiot killed him. Ooh. Dot, dot, dot. Rantaro's lab. I'm curious about his talent, but it's too late now. What's really interesting, though is all of, like, the weaponry. That's at least what I see. Knives. Like this biker helmet thingy. A chainsaw. I don't know. He can't be the ultimate murderer. We already have an ultimate assassin. Like, that would be crazy. I swear to God, if he's, like, just the ultimate murderer or something. Let's go to the group with everybody. Clack. It's unlocked. All right, let's go. What? Okay. Okay. The spiral staircase. I can see a spiral staircase. It looks pretty long. Where does the staircase lead? We'll find out. Dot, dot, dot. This is a pretty long staircase. Where does it lead? That's what we're trying to check out, Shuichi. Whew. Finally reached the top. I feel it. it's... All right, I feel as if there's something there, but it's best to be cautious. Kaido's lab! It's an ultimate lab. Then it must be... Got it. Finally, it looks like this is my research lab. Yes, it is, buddy. What? I don't want to refute. Yeah, that's right. Ugh. Kaido. Yeah, those stairs were such a pain. Uh, I'm tired. Someone needs to give me a piggyback ride. Uh, they made us climb all these stairs just for the ultimate astronaut's lab? Hey. What do you mean, just? This is the main stage, and it's finally being revealed. Hey. I'm so tired. Uh, hey, uh, someone uh, give me a piggyback ride. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, let's go inside. There might be something useful in here. Don't screw around. What do you mean, probably? This is full of super important stuff. Hey. Hey, isn't anyone going to give me a piggyback ride? Uh, oh my god. Up. Shut up. I'm not going to give you a damn piggyback ride. Mm. Let's go inside then. What the... the I, 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 would, I would give you a piggyback ride, Himiko. I, I would let you have it. You walked up the five flights of stairs. Kaido is being just a booty for no reason. We're going to investigate the cockpit first. Just to mess with you. That's all. That's literally just in spite of Kaido here. Oh, this is amazing. The, it's like a cockpit of a spaceship. It's pretty cool. Perfect for my research lab. Yeah. You can operate this. I mean, it's probably just a simulator, but... Ah. Yeah, I've never seen this machine, but I've trained with something like it. Got it. Well, I guess it all worked out. Mm -hmm. What reckless confidence. I don't ever want to be in any vehicle you're driving. Yeah, that's why I would be the driver. Because I'm definitely a safer driver than Kaido, for sure. You know... But, wow. Is this really a simulator? It kind of feels too elaborate. Ah, no way it's real. I mean, what would it even operate at that moment? Hey, hey, come look at this. Huh? huh? Something wrong? Well... I found this in the back. Huh? What is this? A file? The Gopher Project. Aha! We needed more on this anyway. 
countries from all over the world worked together to create a meteorite defense plan. But none of us can remember the details of that. Hmm. So this file has information about the project. What? So what does it say? Uh, okay. Hold on, I'll read it. Uh, Let's um... see. The Gopher Project. The last hope for hum to save humanity from the disaster raining down from space. Burdened with the imperative project are boys and girls of exceptional talent. But the purpose of the Gopher Project... Or that is the purpose of the Gopher Project. Well, what about the rest of it? What does it say? Hey. Don't tease us. Uh, just say it already. Well, that's... The rest of it's blacked out. I can't read any further. Yeah, yeah what'd you say? Yeah. Did Monokuma do this? Damn it, he's just screwing with us. Hey. Do you think it's part of the... Or do you think this part about boys and girls of exceptional talent is referring to us? Hey. And what could the seeds of future hope mean? And what's about the new... Or what is this about the new world? Is this... <gasps> is this like Noah's Ark? Huh? huh? Noah's Ark? Because... Well, Noah's Ark was built with gopher wood. So... What? Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. Of course. It's just a story from the Bible, but... To choose the name... That name in particular... Hmm. It does seem related. But how is all of this related to the Academy? To us? Yeah. None of this makes any sense. Well... If we find the next flashback light, maybe we'll be able to remember something about it. Mm. Now that you mention it, where is it? It doesn't seem like it's in this lab. All right. So it must be somewhere else. We gotta look for it first. That's true. You're right. This place is useless to us now. So... I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Because we gotta find that flashback light. A flashback light. Our last hope. But it's something that Monokuma created. I don't want to depend on something that Monokuma has touched. But there's nothing that we can do. There's no other way to restore our memories. Oh, the cockpit is literally the only thing we could have investigated. Oh, no. Planetarium device. I'm doing this just to check. A large machine, perhaps, for a planetarium. You can project stars on the ceiling with this. It's quite the facility. Oh, that was it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess all we need to do is click on the cockpit. I mean, it is kind of. It makes sense. That's all we need to do. Click on the cockpit. Life is okay. Wait, did that say floor six? Hold on. It did. Ooh. Oh, wait. I can... I can do this. This exists. Uh, oh, but we can't... Okay. So we have to go about it... the way that we did before. Last time we had to go up in this kind of situation. Okay. Turn around and click the entrance door. Bam, bam. Courtyard. Who's going to be out here? The greenery is completely gone. This place really feels mechanical now. It looks like construction is almost done, but what happens then? The ultimate, an ultimate academy, the likes of which we've never seen before. We'll never find out what that means. Or will we ever find out what that means? Probably. Okay, they're out here. Right? We'll talk to Samugi. Why not? You're here. Hi, girl. But we've got only two last keys. That would... Uh, be better off with a thief's key and a magic huh? key. Or we'd be better off with a thief's key and a magic key. Huh? Why is that? Oh, don't worry about it. I was just talking to myself. But how many times has this happened now? What do you mean? Uh... The class trial ends. We get Monokuma's prizes and we search for new areas. You know, same flow over and over. And the fact that all the murderers keep happening in the areas we discover? I sort of thought, maybe it'd be better if we didn't find anything. But... But to solve the mystery of this academy, we're going to have to use the flashback light to remember the truth. Of course, I know we need to do that too, but... All right! All right, I'm going to stop worrying about it. We need to live for Gonta and everyone else and escape this place. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Um... All right, then I'll plainly look around the school and let you know if I find anything. Here's the thing, though. What I got to give Samugi credit for is girl literally has a point. Like, 
Girl literally is like, you know, you realize every time we open up a new area, something bad happens in that area. We should probably, you know, be careful. She's got a point. It looks like a door, but I don't think I could open it with the or with this or with this open this with my bare hands. Fair. Oh, Kibo. It literally says, oh, Kibo's there. Um, There aren't many doors left that could be opened with the keys Monokuma gave us, correct? There's a door in that wall. Perhaps that we can get in that. Uh, there's something next to the door that seems to resemble a keyhole. Oh, you mean like the thing I probably stared at and didn't look at? Yeah, yeah, that thing. Yep, thank you, Kibo. Literally... Honestly, Kibo saves my life constantly. <laughs> That's like the third or fourth time I've walked past something and I talked to Kibo and Kibo was like, literally points. That right there. <laughs> like, Kibo is clutch. The sound of the giant door unlocking. Cyber Courtyard. Oh. What is this place? This is... I feel like this is a set of a sci-fi movie. A mecha could pop out at any moment. I took every ounce of my strength to hold in what I wanted to say. Oh, there's a lot here. Okay. Hmm. This is different from the other places we've seen so far. And this maze-like hallway? Perhaps it's to defend the building that it leads to? Probably, but a murder could absolutely occur in here. So I'm not... I'm not... A, I love the scenery. I'm not a fan of somebody's gonna die in this hallway. For sure. What is this? The shutter is huge. This is... It seems to be well fortified. Hmm. That is an electric barrier. We can't raise the shutter while it's active. Hey. If there's if they're protecting it that strongly, there must be a secret in there. Yes. That's a possibility. Let's investigate and see what we, if we can get in. Oh. Wait, it's dangerous, don't Before I can finish my warning, Kibo approaches the shutter. No 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 no! There's literally a keypad right there, buddy. No. <laughs> what is this? Kibo! Kibo, get away from! Oh my, disc, disc, disc! Don't you go setting up the alarm now! Okay. Come on, come on! Out of the way so I can turn off that alarm! Jeez! Uh, you guys gotta be more careful! Uh, be careful. What was that alarm for? It was so loud. Yeah. Oh, that's the alarm system! Uh, you can see the motion sensor alarm above the shutter. Oh, no. In order to turn it off, you need to use an alarm remote. Hey, um, a super loud alarm will blare if you approach the shutter without turning off the system. Why? Why is there an alarm system in of here of all places? <laughs> Boo -hoo, this place is important that it needs to be beefed up. I guess while I'm here, I'll explain the electric barrier. To turn it off, you gotta enter a 59 digit code in, con in the control panel next to the shutter. I'll tell you what the code is, but only once, so make sure you memorize it. 503934857857365630569285811037. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I stopped. I locked on on 11037. Anyway, that's definitely there on purpose. 959390029878848. Wait, slow down, please. 503, what's the rest? <sighs> Only three numbers. Come on, robot. I know you can do better than that. An electric barrier and an alarm security system? That's pretty tight security. Why? Why are they guarding it so closely? What could be in there? Here. 
Like I said, uh, this is a very important place. My well, it used to be important, but that's a long was a long time ago. Now it's just pointless. Huh? Pointless. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's pointless. Uh, so I may as well give you the guys the remote. You can use it to turn off the motion sensor above the shutter. Beep beep. See ya! Turned off the alarm system, didn't it? Now just use the control panel to activate the electric barrier so you can go inside. Hmm. Can you repeat that code you mentioned earlier? What? Huh? How annoying! Uh, but since this is your first visit, I'll let you inside just this once. Monokuma walked over the control panel and quickly punched in the numbers and... Okay, now you can just manually raise the shutter and go inside. You can either use the control panel inside to restore the alarm system and the electric barrier, or just the control panel out here. So, or do nothing, and the barrier alarm will stay off. Now then. Well then, safe travels. We just leave the barrier off then. Okay. He just let us into this highly secured area. What is this game here? Shuichi. Let's go, Shuichi. We have no other direction but forward. My inner voice is telling me hope moves forward. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Exocil hanger. Oh. Oh, over there, it's. An exocil? Oh, no. All five of them are here? It's too dangerous. That's why. Wait a second. Hmm. They aren't moving. They aren't reacting to us. And the lights are off. That's right. Oh. Now that you mention it, you're right. I wonder what's going on. <laughs> Surprise! This is actually the Exosol hanger! Yup, this is where the Exosols are stored! A facility for storing Exosols? Hey, um... This is where I was guarding the precious Exosols so no one would mess with them! Wah, wah, but... Wah, wah. It's pointless now. That's... It's because the modded clubs are gone. No one can control the exosols anymore. Huh? What? No, no, no one can control them anymore. Huh? Am I wrong? Well, well. Oh, don't worry about my reaction just now. I thought you were an over, or I thought of a, a somewhat over the top reaction would put you guys on the defensive. Uh, Do not what does that me. mean? Be quiet. Now, now, don't get worked up. You may be a machine, but you're not a demon model. The deactivated exosols. The hangar's pointless now because the monocubs are gone? If that's true, nothing is threatening us anymore. Painting machine. This is a huge machine. Uh, this huge machine has several moving arms. What is it used for? This is... This is a machine probably used to paint the exosols. You're right. Ah, oh, right. It does kind of smell like paint thinner. Um... Which means I could potentially use this machine to give off... Or give myself a makeover. No. I don't think you need to make over. You're great the way you are, Kibo. Yeah. Well, of course I am. Then why'd you bring it up? Fair. Why, Kibo? Washing machine. This looks like a car wash. Is it for cleaning the exosols? This is. That seems comfortable. <laughs> comfortable, huh? Exosol green. All five exosols are being stored here right now. They aren't moving at all. Are the exosols going to not move anymore? Are they no longer going to be used against us? What is this door? Exosil hanger. The bathroom. This is a bathroom? It doesn't look like it's been used in a long time. Yeah. Well, I suppose that makes sense. I'm sure I'm the first person to be in here in a while. Monokuma and the Monokub certainly don't need to use the bathroom. But then, why is this place a bathroom in a Or why is there a bathroom in the first place? If they were under the impression we would never be here, why make a bathroom? Does that mean I was wrong? Well, there's nothing that concerns me here, so I'll go back.
The hangar is pointless, huh? I bet Mew would have found a purpose for this place. She would have been excited to dismantle the Exocil, study them further. The way, I can assert that with confidence because her actions are documented in my memory bank. 100%. When it comes to machines and technology, Mew was very genuine. She had a natural innocence and kept, or that kept, or that she kept hidden deep inside. Operational panel. Ah, this control panel. That's, that's most likely the control panel for the alarm system and the electric barrier. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like it. But there's no reason to turn it or turn the barrier back on, so we shouldn't touch mm -hmm. it. Are you saying that because I don't have the 59-digit code uh, to deactivate it memorized? Because all robots can memorize more than three digits. Uh, is what you're implying? No. No. Not what we're implicating at all. But okay. Hydraulic press. This is a huge, powerful machine. That's. This hydraulic press probably is used to scrap decommissioned exosols. Huh? Scrap them? Yeah. Yeah. Even the exosols cannot withstand being crushed by a giant metal slab. You're right. True. By the way. Also, it seems you can control the hydraulic press using the control panel over there. Hmm. There's an up and down button as well as an emergency stop button. There's also a safety note written there. The hydraulic press was an it or has an infrared sensor. When it, it detects a living being, it automatically stops for safety reasons. That's true. If someone accidentally ended up in the press, the machine would stop. Um, what do you think, Shuichi? Huh? Of course. Of the safety function? I don't know. Well then. Let's give it a try. Uh, um, um, try what? As I stood there confused, Kibo suddenly got under the press. No, no, no! Kibo, 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 no, Kibo, no, Kibo, no, 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 Kibo, no, Kibo, no, 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 no. You are technically not a living organism. I no. Please what? If the press comes to a stop when it detects a person. What will happen if it detects me? No. No, we're not testing this out. Let's find out. No, we're not testing this out. Are you sure about that? I don't know if the sensor will work. No! Don't worry. If I sense any danger, I'll move out of the way. I just really want to try it out. If I don't, I'll never be able to rust in peace when I die. He's not going to change his mind about this. Okay, let's do it. But get out of there if it's dangerous, okay? Certainly. Now, if you would be so kind, start it up. Convinced by Kibo's enthusiasm, I press the button and then... Kibo, move! Okay. Oh, no. That was a close one. Wait. Yeah, it was. Why did you do that? Why? Why did you press the four stop button, Suichi? It's not my fault, but, but at least we know now. It seems I'm only perceived as a machine and not a human. For now. Well, to the hydraulic press it is. You're right. Yeah. I've investigated everything here. There's definitely a hangar for the exosols, but they're deactivated. Monokuma might be right. This place is no longer has any purpose. Hey, Shuichi. There you are. I was looking for you, uh... Hey, come to the dining hall. Samugi says she wants everyone to meet there. Huh? Huh? Samugi. Right. She told me she found something, probably the flashback light. Okay. Anyway, come as soon as you can. I'm gonna head on or go on ahead. The next flashback light. What will we remember next this time? All right. I should head to the dining hall. And that is exactly what we're gonna be doing in the next episode. I get to steamroll right into it, and I'm super excited to figure out what's going on. But yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. When we go tackle that, don't give me a heart attack ever again, Kibo. That was... No. 